Okay, so I am going to say first that um, a lot of you, you have to re-examine your choices, okay? Your, your decisions and you have to re-examine your motives, okay? This is, I'm going to read this as you because you are an earth sign. You're showing up in the reverse position, not only reverse, but because um, you are a page energy, which is a, a very carefree, a very um, undiscerning, like you're not very discriminate about who it is that you're getting involved with. And honestly, there is a sense that... Um, your motives are like not even clear to yourself here, okay? So it, it's important to, to keep that in mind. So that's the first thing. And uh, one of the danger that is coming through as a result of this is there is a person here. There is an air sign that you're dealing with. An air sign is a Gemini, a, an Aquarius, or a Libra. So... I do feel that it is somewhat like romantically uh, linked. It can also be in a business environment, okay? So first of all, if it is in a romantic situation, I do feel that uh, for Virgoan women, you might be involved with an air sign and um, you're trying to decide if this person is worth the investment, okay? And I do feel there is a very strong sense of like fascination with this person. Um, you you feel they make you feel very childlike they make you feel very carefree and um you know air signs in general are very effective communicators however the the king of swords which can be a female air sign or a male air sign is in the reverse position so it can play out in two ways first of all there might be like um a little bit of a standoffishness about this person they're very emotionally blocked okay so i do feel that um if you're looking for a if you're looking for like um uh, somebody who's very emotionally nurturing someone who's you know um supportive and things like that not that air signs are not those things but it is going to require a lot of work to um to dissolve you know this ice facade that they put on okay so it's going to require a lot of work from your end at the same time, what I am sensing is this air sign is in the reverse position next to the Queen of Cups. So first of all, this is somebody who's very, very perceptive, okay? They are very perceptive. So it's kind of like taking on the qualities of a, a typical, stereotypical, very analytical air sign, but with the keen perception of a water sign. So you're dealing with somebody who is like... Um, who's very emotionally repressed. They see everything that's going on. They can gauge people's motives and things like that. And, um, you know, they're not very talkative about it. So you will never know how much they know. So I hope that makes sense. You're dealing with that situation. So you're dealing with somebody like that. It might not even be an air sign that you're dealing with. It's just somebody who is extremely perceptive, who is extremely, like, um, emotionally, they, they're a little vacant. So you don't know where you stand with them. So it's really important to not misrepresent yourself, mainly because you are showing up reverse and as a very young childlike energy, you might be a little bit carefree in their miss and you might spill the beans. And I don't feel they're a gossip, but um, you know, it is in the reverse position. So they can misuse or abuse the information that is coming from you to them. Okay. So just be very careful about who you open up yourself up to who you let into your life in general because you might not be as objective and as discerning as other times of the month. All right? So that's one major thing that I am sensing. The second thing here is um, we have this separation situation, okay? So I do feel the theme for this month is just going to be separation. So the first card, five of pentacles, and then we have the tower, so it's sort of like um, this is a situation where you are no longer feeling your romantic partner. You are no longer feeling your spouse. You're no longer like um, sure about the stability and the longevity of your love relationship or even your partnership or even your marriage. Okay. This is also like in a situation in which um, it can revolve around family members because I do feel like family structures in general are involved here. And the fact that we have a lot of kings and queens showing up, which indicates to me like um, it's sort of like a household with grandparents, with like in-laws. Um, 
with um, parents, relatives, people from both sides of the household getting involved. And because of it, it is it becomes very messy to like have a clean break, have a clean divorce, because it's sort of like almost like, um, you know, when you're out here, you show you you show the world your true colors, which is that um, you both are no longer on speaking terms. However, you have to like play nice. You have to put on this facade when you're indoors to appease the in-laws, to make them to make the, them seem as if you know things you guys are still together things are still fine and you know the facade can only like last for so long before we end up with the tower in which truths can come to light in which you know um things cannot be repaired okay so i hope that makes sense to um a lot of you if there are situations in which you feel that you know it's pretty much the end of the the line for a relationship just let it go um life's not too short so, uh, i mean life is too short to cling on to things that no longer work for you okay let them go to find the people that uh they're meant for and let give yourself the opportunity to find the ones that are, are meant for you so you know do that for yourself and do that for one another okay just just end things because if you keep going back or if if you are like a male virgo and you are trying to make things work one last time with the female in your life and um, you haven't been successful in the past, chances are you're not going to be successful in the future. If you have to go out of your, way, of your way to constantly catch up with him or her, somebody that you've had multiple run-ins with and you're trying to your best to make things work, the other person is not going to put in the same amount of work and you end up with a situation in which, you know, new beginnings can't start mainly because you're clinging on to old things, okay? So please be very careful about that. Um... I do sense as well, um, there is almost like a, a very karmic relationship here with um, with the King of Wands. Usually I read this card and it's, um, it's a karmic, karmic, karmic debt, okay? This is like basically... Um, debts or situations extending past um, past past decades, past lives and things like that, okay? This is something that you can't escape from and um, it's indicated here king of wands okay so for um it can play out as like your father it can play out as like a male authority figure or you know it can also be a female in your life that is a fire sign and i do sense that um you've had multiple run-ins with this person and they're showing up in the upright position so it seems as if there is a lesson that you're supposed to learn from them okay and i'm not going to say that um I, I feel that they're the teacher here. There, there is an important life lesson associated with this person that you have to learn, so that you can, um, so that you don't repeat the same mistakes. Basically, so keep that in mind, okay? And um, at the same time, I am sensing here that um, the person in the past, the person, there was a lot of work that you put in. And um, the other person didn't see it, okay? So there are discrepancies in the way the story is told from your perspective versus this fire sign's perspective. So what I mean by that is um, they feel that they're in the right. They feel that they shoulder the burden in this relationship, whereas you yourself feel the same way. So there's like a very little um, agreement. There are mismatches in values. In, you know both people's perception of what transpired in that relationship so I hope that makes sense okay it doesn't mean that any one party is completely right or wrong so let's just put that out there okay if it just doesn't work it doesn't work it's a difference in opinion it's a difference in like philosophical beliefs and lifestyle choices so just let it go there is no use in arguing over who contributed more in the relationship. The relationship itself is, it cannot be salvaged at this point. So just let it go and give one another a break because, you know, this is dragging on long enough. Okay, so yeah, just let it go. Because once this happens, once you keep arguing over the technicalities, and I know you Virgos, um, you want to get the facts straight. You want to get the facts out there but uh, when you are dealing with relationship partners in general um, everyone has their own you know um, 
when you are emotionally invested in another person, you get really fired up and the other person likewise will get fired up over you. So arguing over who contributed what, you know, it doesn't lead to anything. What matters in relationship is just how you feel about the other person, how they feel about you. And then if it's the right person, I honestly believe that things will fall into place. So at this point, you're arguing over different things. So there's just no, it, it doesn't make sense to keep doing that, okay? So even though you want the answers, even though you, you are a very rational person, you want to get all these um, technical issues squared away, you want to keep the score, and you want to balance the, the, the bank account and the checkbook and things like that. But in relationships, it's just not conducive to keep tabs, okay? So I hope that makes sense to you. Um, I do feel that a lot of relationships, you know, stable relationships in the past that have had like many, um, ups and downs will definitely be, um, put to an end for this month. I do feel a lot of you are going to be, um, forced to, and I do sense that, um, one of the dangers is that as an earth sign, you do cling on to things and people for a really long time. And you do tend to like be complacent about walking, being the first to walk out. Okay. So once you marry someone, for example, I feel like when it comes to dating, Virgos are very selective. So they, they usually, you know, give their partner a very extensive screening process before they get involved. But once they're involved, they're committed and they will get married. And um, what I'm sensing here is like for those who are initially dating, I do feel that um, relationships that have been through the ringer are going to end, that relationships that have been challenging are going to end because um, the karmic debt is paid and you have both at, at this point adequately learned enough from one another. And um, if you have inkling about it, be the first to walk out of the relationship. Otherwise, the other person is, is going to walk out on you. And, you know, obviously this is not going to apply for everybody. I'm just talking about very rocky, unsteady relationships in general, okay? Especially when it concerns like, um, we have two kings here, one queen. So I'm going to say when it concerns infidelity, when it concerns people outside of the relationship, okay? So it could be, it could be like, um, Let's see, it could be like a, a relationship with a, a fire sign, an air sign, water sign. It doesn't matter the, the, the element, but if there are like three people in a relationship, I feel that that's quickly going to end. And for those of you who are in a relationship with like um, a fire sign or a water sign, I would say try to... Um, Try to to appease the other person, okay? They're of a different element. And I do feel that um, they're very emotionally supportive of you. It's just difficult for them to try to gauge what's going on in their, um, their life right now. They're a little preoccupied with things in... Um, Things going on in their life that they might not have the time for you at this point, okay? So that situation, it could work. But I do feel, especially if it's like a relationship with an air sign, I do sense that um, that situation is going to end for this month. And um, I do feel that you have, once again, I want you to be discriminate about why certain people are in your life and, you know, what you are hoping out of it, okay? So, for example... Um, Going back to what I mentioned before, when it comes to relationships, okay, don't cling on to things for too long. And if you have an inkling that your relationship is not going to work, get out of it right now before the end happens, which is that, you know, the other person will walk out on you and then you're ending up with like a very stuck energy, okay, where you, you, you don't really know which way to turn. You don't really know, like, it's out of your control at this point and you're at a loss for words, okay, so you're kind of like, dumbfounded and you don't really know what to do next so you know don't put yourself in that situation and don't leave yourself vulnerable to that where somebody walks out on you and you want them back and it's just because you know you can't have them that you want them back so um, make sure that's not coming through for you 
So let's see, on the work front, um, I do feel a lot of expenditures are going to be required of you for this month, okay? So Virgos, in general, there are going to be some uh, travel delays. We have the chariot in the reverse position, so I want you to be very, very careful about um, driving, okay? Be very, very careful about driving, like... Um, Driving to a new place, driving to a, um, driving at night especially, and check your engine, check your car, you know, like do maintenance on your car. Be very careful about letting other people drive as well because I do feel that there is an element of two people associated with this. So be very, very careful in general. Just... Um, just minimize the time you spend on the road if you can help it, okay? So don't go for like a joyride and especially um, don't let like a teenager drive your car. Don't let like a nephew and niece who might be a little bit inexperienced drive your car. So just, you know, keep that in mind. Um, the chariot is in the reverse position on top of the tower card. So I do feel there might be like um, car trouble. There might be car trouble, which could lead to like a, a very catastrophic accident in which um, if you are the driver, you might not only like harm yourself, but you might harm whoever is in the other car or in the car with you. So be very, very careful about this, please. So, you know, just mitigate the effects. It's good advice in general. Just for this month, please try to minimize the uh, amount of time that you travel or you are physically driving a car okay the chariot i've actually seen this in uh, one of the spread i've done for myself so please please trust me on this and um car troubles are going to be in the works for you at the same time financially things are going to be a little bit um a, there's going to be a financial dip so what i am sensing to is there could be like financial issues associated with car troubles financial issues or finance you know expenditures unexpected expenditures related to like fixing your car because of a a little bit of an accident speeding tickets well we don't have the night of um be careful of driving fast too so i would say speeding tickets something that is done very hastily and um you know and also repairs in your living environment for example remodeling restructuring something like that it is going to be a little bit more expensive and costly on the financial front than you anticipated okay so you're kind of like um coming through the beginning of the month and you feel a little bit like um financially depleted all right and i do feel that because of it the energy itself <clears throat> is going to get like a little bit worse by the end of the month mainly because of all these um little unintended consequences or side effects or you know unanticipated um, expenditures that will be coming through for the end of the month okay so that's something to keep an eye out for so i kept mentioning i kept trying to you know say like on the work front and then it just took me to a different down a different path so let's go back to on the work front um i do feel that there is going to be a new project offered to you and, um, you know, it's almost like your company is downsizing, okay? So for a lot of you, so you might have been trying to find work. You landed a job very recently or you are going to land a job this month and there is like an offer, off, uh, a job offer to you. And you are going to take that job and you're going to realize that, um, I would say when new opportunities come in, try to, try to mull it over. And try to see if it's not like your cup of tea hold out for a better offer if you're kind of like pressed for work i do feel that if you have accepted a job in the mercury retrograde period such as from may 19th i believe to june 11th if you are still in that job that was offered i do feel that people's true natures their true intention the true nature of the work project will surface and you're not going to be completely thrilled with continuing your work there so you might leave your place of employment okay a lot of you might have like moved houses might have uh, moved companies might have switched over like jumped the boat into another work situation as well um, so that itself if you're moving into something new 
then, you know, just let it play out. Don't worry too much about it. Let it play out and, you know, get the lay of the land before you quit. Okay, so that's just good advice in life in general. But I do feel that for this month, um, we have four court cards. Yeah, this month is very other oriented. So you, you are going to have to rely on other people in order to um, help you get you back on your feet. Okay. So what I'm sensing is that we have these four cards, the Chariot, the Four of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, Judgment, and, um, well, Judgment doesn't count, and the Ten of Wands. People will help lighten your load. So these are all very solitary cards, but they're on the reverse position. So which indicates to me that um, you're going to need other people to help you move forward, okay? Because um, going about it your own way is not going to be conducive for anything. So allow other people the opportunity to help you, okay? So for those of you who are dealing with an air sign, especially on the work front, there might be like a stalled in the amount of money given to you. There might also be a stalled amount in the amount of money that you're giving to the air sign. So there might be like uh, delays in getting a payment or there might be like a... A negotiation between, you know, salary payments with an air sign. There might be some type of money exchange between the two of you with an air sign, an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. And the other person is putting on like a poker face and you don't really know what you should do and where you stand. So it's a little bit frustrating. And it's, um, I do feel that if you're dealing with like an employer who is an, an air sign, and you're trying to ask for a pay increase, I do feel they are going to try to meet you. Just, you know, be really decisive and firm about um, sticking to, like, making one offer and sticking to it rather than going back and forth and trying to um, change the amount because they're going to get very quickly, like, uh, frustrated, okay? They, they are pretty uh, decisive. Um, so, yes. Okay, so let's see if there is anything else that I am picking up. Okay, so you are actually getting like, um, I, I'm sensing that, you know, with the 4th of July holiday season as well, a lot of court cards are showing up across the board for all the signs, a lot of court cards. So you're getting four in this. I believe it was um, another sign. Aquarius got four as well. And there was another sign that I did for recently. I believe it might have been... It might have been um, cancer where a lot of court cards show up. So in general, it is a, a month of family reunions and meetings and um, having that, you know, meetups with your relatives. So I'm not surprised all these people are, are showing up like this. But I do feel that um, there's a very strong karmic link here with a, uh, a fire sign. And I do feel that you're going to have to work through this one, okay? So just keep in mind that um, free will is going to change the course of our lives. You're not, you know, you we are ultimately destined for other things, destined for greatness, destined to develop ourselves to the best of our capabilities and, you know, uh, things like that. But when it comes to free will, you have the ability to change your fate and uh, your free will needs to be exercised, okay? So when you've had like multiple run-ins with the same person and it doesn't work, it's important, first of all, to exercise your free will and decide if there are other things that you can do to fix the situation. If not, choose to take the high road and walk away, okay? There's no use in getting yourself stuck just because you feel like it's karmic. Karma should only dictate the way you, you act, the way you live. It shouldn't like um, bind you to unhealthy situations. Okay, so I hope that makes sense to you. So that I hope that will you know brighten your perspective a little bit. At the same time, um, I just want to say that um, for those of you who are thinking about like a family gathering, some type of a, a reunion, I sense that the timing for this month, even though you might want to do it during a major holiday season. I do feel that timing for this month is a little bit off for that. So it might come a little bit later or er later than you anticipated, okay? Which is going to be even better. So for example, if you are ever given an option for like meeting up with somebody and you have two options, choose the later date. I feel that's going to be better for you. 
choose like a date halfway through the month maybe like the uh, from the 12th to the 19th don't choose it all the way to the end because that's where the tower situation is going to come in with the chariot so from the 19th to the 10th if you have the option to choose that because it looks better um, your light is going to be tremendously uh, lightened because other people are willing to help you, all right? So overall, I do feel that it is going to be a very busy, vibrant month with a lot of people, a lot of people coming in, a lot of emotional support, even like a new sense of um, spiritual awakening and also like a, a sense of like emotional deepening in a relationship in a significant relationship it's not it's going to make you a little bit uncomfortable at first but you're going to quickly realize that um in all your social interactions there is a greater amount of depth and um that's something that you've been craving the whole time that you didn't realize